everybody in this video i want to share with you how to actually make use of the adorable gingerbread clip art that carrie has kindly contributed to our treasure box for camera creators and to use them to create printable christmas gift tags Okay, so what I've done is I've already gone to the left hand side menu where you see the upload section and I've already uploaded one adorable a gingerbread graphic. Okay, so what we have also done is that I've gone to file and to create a new design and I have selected the US document size. Okay, so let's now go to elements and look for shape and here you could see all and I'm going to pick on this particular shape. I want to create two by three inch gift tags. Okay, so to adjust the dimensions of the gift tag, you could use this little white lines on the sides. And here, if I were to stretch it, you will see this black rectangle coming up, appearing. So I'm going to stretch it all the way up to three for height. And the width is already two. So now if you are unsure, you can change it. And then you see that the black rectangle appears again. So now W is 2.2, which means it's 2.2 inch. And I'm going to reduce it to 2. Now, just to note, right, because under file, you will see that the dimensions are, uh, are set as 8.5 inches by 11 inches, which is the US document dimensions. So because of that, because this document is already in inches, whatever dimensions that you see as you adjust the sizes of your shapes and stuff like that, it will be in inches. Now, for example, if you were to create your project in a thousand by a thousand pixels kind of dimensions for your project, then when you adjust this shape, the numbers that appear would be in pixels for the units. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the color and I'm going to select white and I'll like there to be some outline and not so thick, just a guiding line to allow people to print out the gift tags and cut it out. Okay, so here I'm going to rotate it like this. And I should be able to fit nine two by three inch gift tags on one US letter size page. Now I like this. And then of course, I'm also going to add a little circle and going to change the color to white outline to the solid white line, solid black line, sorry, border weight change to one hit enter and just resize it. Let me just zoom in a little bit more, resize it such that is right here. So this allows you to kind of, um, or rather allows the user to use this as the um, spot for them to punch a hole, okay, for the gift tag. So here now I'm going to click to select all of them, group, and then hit duplicate. And here we go and control D to duplicate, that's also possible. And then if you want to make sure that these are evenly spaced out, click to drag all three of them position and they're already all evenly spaced out so this one is no longer highlighted okay so say once more click to drag ctrl d to duplicate the entire group and ctrl d to duplicate again now of course this is um too far below so what i would do is click to drag i'll adjust it upwards a little bit click to drag adjust upwards a little bit and then you see that uh, the pink words and all that appear to help me align my gift tags. So there we go. Now I want it to be more centralized. So I'm shifting it upward. So they are jutting out both at the a bit at the top of the margin and further down bottom below, slightly below the bottom margin. Okay, so this is what I want. Okay, so then it's super easy. Okay, maybe I'm just going back to elements and click on, oh, maybe I should just, let's add in, the graphic first okay go to uploads resize this very adorable right here okay and let's see if i have any christmas tree background that i could find in the element section and just going to filter and searching for the free element oh i love this okay i might use this Okay, so now if you have different designs that you want to do within the same page, then it would be a good idea to do what I've already done, which is to put in all nine of these gift tags before you add in the designs. But now in hindsight, it would have been better if, because if I'm just going to have a single page with the same designs, then 
I think what I should have done was to just focus on creating the design for this one and then duplicating it. Okay, I'll let you see what I mean. Okay, here, position the Christmas to the back. And now I have this very adorable gingerbread girl right here. Okay, so there's some kind of layering. Okay, and maybe I also want to add in text. You could just hit T on your keyboard and the text box should appear. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Where's the text box? No, nope. hit T. Hit T, there we go. And then I'm going to put, well, no surprise, Merry Christmas. And I'm going to change it to a script font, go under handwriting and see if I can find something cute or pretty. Apricots is one of my like favorite script fonts, so I'm just going to go with it. And I'm going to click on this thing, spacing, to reduce the line spacing between the two words. And then here, let's try to put it like this. Now, of course, you would see that it's kind of busy right now. Go to spacing again, try to put the words a bit closer so it looks more cohesive. Here, let's try to change the color. Okay, let's, we're going to play with some of the effects. Okay, how about echo or splice? Splice is possible, but let's change it to yellow. Mm, I think this is better. Now let's change to the font font color, what if I change it to red or this pink? Oh no, that's too much. Okay, okay, let's try that again. Go back to effects. If I change it to the same shade of pink for a slice. No, that's too much. Hollow, nope, nope. Let's try echo. Echo's not bad. Offset it. Could be a bit busy still, so maybe I might want to just shrink down the Christmas tree. Put it here so there's fewer overlapping elements so that I could do this. Um, a little undecided about the pink. Using the eyedropper function to pick out, how about this shade of red? Very subtle difference, but I think it does make a difference. Um, I think I'm going to stick with this. Should we stick with this? Let's try, what if I have a green? Do you think the green looks better? Yeah, uh, we'll stick with the red. We'll just undo it and we'll stick with the red. Alrighty, so once again, if I want the entire page to have the same design, right, then it actually makes more sense for me to complete the entire design, group the entire thing together, okay, and Ctrl D to duplicate. Ctrl D again, and I'm just going to move it right here. So now you would see that there are three gift tags in one row, and you would also see that it's not evenly spaced, right? So how this um, smart algorithm works is that if I were to just put the first on the right and the last on the left at wherever I want them to begin and then wherever I want it to end, then I just click and select all three elements, go to position, space out horizontally then the middle one will will basically automatically take the middle spot okay so now if i want this to be further right okay then if i were to do the same and click on position and horizontally you will see that this moves closer to the right because now the end point for this one this particular gift tag is closer to the right okay i hope you get what i mean so if you have multiple elements what you need to do is decide when when the first one starts and when the last one should be positioned. And then you click to select everything in between to position and then it will automatically space out evenly, taking uh, taking the cue from the first one on the leftmost side and the last one on the rightmost side, okay? So let's position it horizontally. And then I'm gonna go to group it again uh, because now I have the first row completed. I'm going to duplicate, Ctrl D to duplicate the second row. Ctrl D to duplicate the third row. And let's just move this up a little bit. Same thing. 
positioning it, spacing it evenly now. So there we go, one page of gift tags. And of course, how you want to sell it. If you want to display it in a product banner, you want to click on share, click on download as PNG. Okay, and then you can create a product banner with this as a mock-up image. Or when you're ready to you know, share it with your customers and sell it, then you would download it as PDF standard. I would usually just stick with PDF standard because um, I find that it reduces the file size and is good enough even for just um, basically US size documents. Okay, so I would stick with PDF standard and then you download it and then you have your PDF product. Okay, you have the document delivered in PDF. All right, so this is it to use Carrie's gingerbread clip art to create a set of Christmas gift tags. I hope you like it and I hope you get more ideas to make use of all these amazing clip art. Okay, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.